Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So I'm here again with these four nails I keep painting over and over and I'm so sorry, but like I've mentioned before, it's just ease at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing another design on my nails. I've popped my peel off base coat on as always. So that is already on there and nice and set, it's all dry. I'm gonna be doing a design with these two colors cause they are about as summery as colors can get. So we've got Sherbet Lemon, and if it had, there we go sherbet lemon and cosmopolitan are the colors i'm going to be using and i'm also going to be using some black and a little bit of white as well so i'm just going to get those colors onto my palette ready to use okay, i'm going to do a little bit of nail art with them and also having a um i'm going with the typical like nail of each color and also two nails designed so i'm going to go ahead and paint the nails first so i'm going to pop the yellow on my pinky mainly just because I'm not a huge fan of yellow. Like I am I like it in designs like this where we're using a bit of yellow like here and there sort of thing and like just one full nail, but I wouldn't have like a full set of yellow. Obviously, I'm not saying I don't like it in general. I'm just saying I don't like it on me. So it can look really, really pretty, especially um, with a tan. I think yellow really does show off a good tan, but Unfortunately, my tan from my holiday has faded a hell of a lot since I went, well, since I've been back. So I don't have that beautiful tanned colour that I need to pull off this yellow at the moment. Um, but anyway, so I'm doing that on my pinky and then I'm going to do a layer of the pink on my index finger. And then as always, I will, oh gosh, we've got hair been sabotaged already we've only just started um what was i saying that side there is a little bit rough because i messed up the peel off base and i was too lazy to take it off and start again so i just put another coat over the top which obviously didn't do me any favors so i don't recommend being lazy it doesn't help in the long run but there we go um What's I talking about? Gosh, I've gone off on one now and I have no idea what I'm going on about. Uh, I think I was saying, there's that pesky hair. Couldn't get it off my brush because I couldn't find it. There we go, it's gone. Um, I'm going to do the second coat of these nails off camera. So I'm just showing you the first coat on here. And then I'll do the second coat away from the camera so it's not too boring. But those two are basically just going to be the same. Like They're just going to have two coats of colour and that's it. So I'm going to start off by doing like I always do with these sorts of designs where I'm using the base colour as my, um, well, as my base colour. I don't know why I said that. I'm using the Builder Gel as my base colour. I've just got a little bit of a hair here. I'm trying to get off. There we go. Um, and like I've said a million times, you're probably getting really sick of hearing me say it, but the Peely base works better. Like the more layers there is of gel, I find that the thicker it is. Um, the better it works sort of thing. So I'm just popping a coat of this on. And I don't want to disturb the base, like the base coat with my um, nail art brush when I come to do the nail art. So I'm just going to pop this coat as like a, a protective layer over the peely base. And then I will, again, as always, be taking off these nails at the end of this video. So you'll see how easy or not easy they come off. So I'm just gonna cure these for a full cure now. Okay, I've done two coats on those two nails and then just stuck to the one coat on the middle two. So I'm gonna get straight into the design now. So I'm going into my yellow. I don't 100% know what I'm doing to be honest. I know I wanna do something sort of abstracty. Um, so that is like what I'm going for, but I don't 100% know really what. I've just got a little, just sort of like idea in my head of the sort of thing I wanna go for, but I don't 100% know how it's really gonna turn out. So I'm just gonna hope for the best, especially because you're all watching, but never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with the yellow first. I want quite a thick line, like a, a nice thick solid line. And then I'm just gonna make sure that is, I'm really sorry, it's not even focused. I will definitely pay more attention to that now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I just want it to be nice and thick. So I'm just making sure that it's wide enough for how I want it to be. I will do a second coat of the yellow just because obviously yellow is usually a bit of a nightmare colour. I mean, to be fair, 
I am quite lucky with the gel perfection one whereas this one is better than a lot of yellows that I have used um, but at the end of the day it is still a neon so you can either um, you can put some white underneath it if you want to make it pop a little bit more or you can just do what I'm going to do and just do a second coat it's up to you I'm just there is a little hair on my nail that's what I'm taking off there's one here I don't know if you can see it but I am going to cover that with one of the steps so don't worry about it and then once I'm happy with that this is what it's looking like I'm going to go in with a pink line so I'm just going to wipe off my brush make sure that all that yellow is off and then I'm going to go in with the pink and I'm going to put that somewhere else. So the pink I'm going to do here. I don't want it to touch that yellow line because obviously that is wet. Um, if you're worried about like messing up the one that you've already done and you're happy with that, you can absolutely flash cure it to keep it exactly where you want it while you mess around with the other one. And then obviously if for any reason this pink line went wrong, I could wipe this one off without affecting the yellow one. I'm just going to be brave and hope all goes well. I mean, to be fair, it's abstract, so it's one of them. If it goes wrong, we'll just pretend that that was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> it's fine. So that's the pink line. And I'm going to do the pink line on this one. Up here, I think. I'm just going to make that a bit wider again. And I think I'm going to use black for some more lines on this these nails. And I'm going to use some white for a couple of dots. Because I just I love dots, especially on abstract nails. I think they just bring it all together. Dots really do finish off a design. I know I'm not in focus at the moment, but I just really wanted to get that little bit done. So once I'm happy with how this looks, I'm going to pop it into the lamp. I'm going to do the second coat of the yellow off camera real quick. To be fair, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do a second coat. I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm just going to pop this into the lamp now for a full cure. And then I'm going to pop some black and white onto my palette. And then we can come back here and do the finishing touches. Okay, so I'm now going to go in with my other brush. I'm going to be using the Erin's favourite brush this time. The one that I was just using was also from Erin's collection, but it was the Bossit brush. I'm using this Erin's favourite brush this time because the um, there is less bristles, so it's much thinner. And I just feel like I've got a little bit more control over it in that case. Whereas, because I wanted really thick lines for the yellow and pink, it didn't really matter as much. So I've just made sure that my bristles are completely soaked in the black and I'm just going to go ahead and create random lines now. So I'm just going to go up here. And then on the other nail I'm going to go across. Make sure I'm focused. So I'm pressing down a little bit to make the line a little bit thicker. Obviously, if you want a thin line, then don't put as much pressure on and just use the very tip of your brush to create the line. I want it to be quite thick, just not as thick as the lines that are already there of the yellow and pink. I absolutely love the contrast of black with neon colour, well not neon, but bright colours. Um, it's really really good so once I've done that and then just gonna sort of link them up so here I'm gonna go across and then I can make it exactly how I like it Obviously it's a bit trickier because you've got some raised lines already that we've already created but you just need to go over those areas a bit slower with your brush to make sure that the polish is getting exactly where you need it and you're not sort of like skipping over. I know I'm getting it everywhere and I definitely don't recommend that but 
we'll just have to ignore it. There we go. So I'm happy with that one. And then I'm just going to finish this one off. So this one I'm going to bring down from the top this time. Because the other one started from the bottom. So I'm just going to join them up and then create the wider line. Again, just putting a bit of pressure on. Top if it was focused again. And then once I'm happy with that, oh gosh, just brought it over a bit too far, but I'm just going to neaten that line up to make it look like it was supposed to be like that. It's all good. So this is what it looks like. I'm not really totally happy with this one, to be honest. A little rogue bristle that just sabotaged me a little bit so I'm just tidying up after that and then once I'm happier which I am now I'm going to pop that into the lamp this is what they look like so far I am just going to flash cure this now for about 15 seconds because we're going to go in with some dots and they're not going to be overlapping the black lines anyway so we don't need to fully cure yet um, so I'm just going to go in with my dotting tool now I'm using this one it's about this this big like just a little little dotting tool and I'm just going to get some white on there and I'm just going to pop the white in completely random places um, maybe down there and then on this ring finger I'm going to do I don't know. I'm going to do up here and across there. There we go. That's where my dots are going on that one. So this is what they look like. I really love designs like this. It's so easy to get carried away though. So I'm just going to stop there. I think that looks really cute. So I'm going to pop this into the lamp for a full cure now and then I will come back after I have top coated for us to have a look at them and then also peel them off. So here is the finished look. I absolutely love how they turned out. I'm really, really pleased with these considering I had absolutely no idea what I was really going to do. Um, but yeah, so simple, obviously, as you saw, but so effective because they look really, really pretty. And obviously you could do this in any, 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 oh my gosh, any colour combination that you wanted to. Um, so it's really versatile. You can do it with anything. Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've got a little hair on that one obviously now is the best and worst part because it's sad to see them go but it's very exciting to take them off um so i'm going to remove them now see how easy or hard it is so i'm just going to get my pusher tool i'm just going to get the hardest part is always getting that first little bit to lift but as soon as you've done that it is usually touch wood relatively easy to get, oh that was really easy a little bit there oh yeah that's gone as well but look at that that one popped off absolutely brilliant but to be fair that one was the one with two two coats on because obviously i messed up the first coat um but yeah let's see how the rest go i do really love this peely base it's very very effective that one was super easy as well look at that beautiful removal oh one's just popped off oh it's not even focused again my phone hates me today i lost that bit you can see it lifting i don't know if you can but here this shadow here that's where it's coming away from the nail it's quite satisfying to see it to be honest Oh, I don't think I've done this one very well with the Peely Basin in general. Don't think I've painted it very well. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, it's alright. 
it is it have its peely base to be fair just i am um, i had to file my nail a little bit because there was a little bit stuck there from yesterday's video that i filmed so i had to file that little bit before i could apply the peely base and i just need to make sure that that's a little bit more smooth as the peely brace sticks a little bit too well but yeah they all came off relatively easy i'm happy with that so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching as always i very much appreciate it and i'll be back really soon with another one bye